Hey guys, um, just eat it here. Thanks for stopping by. And I want to make a video. I'm probably going to make one of these videos every six months or so as my subscriber list grows. I'm I'm just under halfway to a thousand, which is where I really want to be because you guys know I can earn a few extra dollars once I get to that. So I really appreciate everybody who subbed. Uh, would love it if you'd sub if you haven't subbed already and uh, click the click the bell. I'm trying to make more videos. This one isn't going to be particularly fun but I think I just need to get it out there. If you don't already know I have what's called chronic kidney disease and ESRD which is end stage renal disease that means my kidneys don't work so in the summertime when it's hot here in Texas I won't be doing many uh, camping outdoor videos as I want to do because it's really difficult for me to manage fluids and so what happens when you have kidney failure you go on dialysis and dialysis is not fun they uh, I go three times a week four hours a time and they stick two huge needles in my arm sometimes you might see the scars in my videos I know the last video I made on my Tom shoe I saw my dialysis scars once a scar where the surgeon makes what's called a fistula I don't really understand exactly what that is but it's a, it's an enlarged vein where the where the large needles dialysis needles can go into my arm and then the other scar is from the the multiple needle sticks which happen three times a week no fun it hurts uh, I have a cream I put on there about an hour before I go it's a uh, lidocaine cream it helps but if the person sticking me doesn't really know what they're doing it doesn't help as much as it could and so then my blood filters through this uh, filter uh, aided by a machine and my heart muscle pumping it through and they filter out all the toxins and the fluid that my kidneys would normally uh, filter out and help pass through so I don't I don't make much urine, urine at all and uh, when I go in there they take about four liters off of me four liters of fluid which I think there's 2.2 uh, pounds to a liter to give you an idea uh, I really have to be careful how much fluid I take in and not just in what I drink, but what I eat. So, you know, a lot of food is uh, consists of fluid. And I can't remember what move, movie I saw, but they it was an alien movie, and they referred to humans as bags of mostly water. And that's what we are, bags of mostly water. But the water, you know, we have to pass it. So, and anyway, I wanted to bore you with all this, but on days I have a treatment, I basically get what they call wiped out. I mean, a lot of days I just go home and I sleep for four to six hours in addition to my my nightly sleep. I just it, it just robs you of all the energy because the way my dialysis nurse described it to me, as your heart is pumping your blood through this filter it's like you're running a marathon so a four hour marathon four days a week you know pumping my blood through uh, this filter and you know they try to make you as comfortable as they can but it's really not uh, it's not something I enjoy 
I'm get. I guess I, I would just say I'm getting used to it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying not to think about it a lot, and YouTube really helps me uh, in a number of ways. Uh, both in trying to make videos, think about the videos I'm going to make, and also in the videos I watch. Uh, so many of you guys making YouTube videos, you really don't know uh, how much I enjoy uh, sitting down with my meal uh, different times of the day and watching watching everybody, watching all these outdoor videos, things that I probably realistically won't be able to do, I can enjoy watching. And the reason I say I won't be able to do is because I can never be more than 48 hours away from a dialysis clinic. And where I live in Houston, there's not a whole lot uh, of places where I can just run out and be in be in the woods or be by a lake or but you know I found some places and so I'll be doing some overnight things once the hot weather goes away because again like I say I cannot manage fluid very well um, so it's hard for me to not become di uh, dehydrated in extreme heat but when it cools off, I, I've got plans, so, you know, stick in with my channel. As you can see from some of my other videos, I'm starting to show you, I showed you my truck camper, some of the things I've done to it, uh, some of the things I'm getting to use. So I'm getting close. Um, I'd say probably October, mid-October, I'll be starting to do some overnighters and maybe some double-nighters because on Saturday... I have a treatment then I don't go back until Tuesday so I have two two nights where I can where I can be off but anyway I just wanted to share this with y'all um, I thought it's important uh, some people have noticed sometimes my inflections on my voice are a little bit funny and that happened uh, after my kidneys failed, I got real sick and I went in the hospital for uh, about two weeks while they were trying to get get me, you know, tuned in for dialysis. And so it, it affected my speech and uh, it's getting better. I don't know if it'll ever be perfect, but you, you'll probably sometimes notice when you listen to me, it sounds a little funny, but I can't, I can't really help that. Uh, and also, um, you know, I just want you to know to know that about me as you're watching my videos. And then, you know, you're going to see little cards at the top of my video, a lot of my videos that refer you to the American Kidney Fund. And, you know... I think they've just started their channel and I really want to try to promote them because um, I want to ask everybody out there to support the American Kidney Fund. These people literally saved my financial life when this first happened to me. I was a small business owner all my life. Um, I didn't really see this coming and hit me out of the blue. And because the work I did was somewhat uh, strenuous and physical, I had to give up my business just like unexpectedly all of a sudden. I was probably about five years away from trying to retire naturally, but it just it didn't happen for me that way. Um, and so when you see these little cards that go to the kidney fund, I'll link them to some of their videos, and they talk about kidney disease in a more professional manner than I can. I don't really want to go into too much of it myself because a lot of people suffer with this and, and they're in, anyway a, a lot of people suffer in different stages of this. Uh, it, it disables them in different levels and 
it affects you psychologically. You know, I I don't really know how to present this to people in a way that's uh, dignifying to how serious of a disease this is to manage. So I want to link to the American Kidney Fund videos because they, they're doing it professionally. Um, I would love to take a camera into my clinic, my dialysis clinic, because these people are amazing. But in doing so, I would violate the privacy of many other people. So I, I don't even want to go there. I just want to link to the videos of the American Kidney Fund and ask y'all from time to time to, to visit those videos and see what it is that I'm coping with. And for another thing, um, this could happen to you. It's happening to a lot of people. And it happens in different ways that you don't expect. I mean, I felt great all my life. I thought I was almost Superman until this happened and it struck me down. And uh, I'll be back with you here in a second to close out this video. So, anyway, closing up this video, um, as I was saying, you know, this can happen to anybody um, like it happened to me. And so I think it's important to uh, support the American Kidney Fund with my videos because I'm hoping that by letting people know this has happened to me. I mean, when, when at first I was scared, folks. Uh, I, I really didn't think I was coming out of that hospital on my feet. I came out on a walker. Uh, and I was in a business where I was on my feet 10, 12 hours a day. So it, <laughs> it was a lot to digest. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are going to go through the same thing I did. And so hopefully as I progress along here on YouTube, and I'm trying to get better at it, uh, you know, I laugh at myself. I hope y'all will laugh at me too when some of these videos aren't as cool as some, some that I watch. But I'm trying to get better. And I'm trying, I, I want to just encourage people who find themselves with end stage renal disease and on dialysis to know that there's life. Uh, I have to be careful and I have to work at it. But um, there is life at the end of the road here. And so anyway, uh, I really appreciate y'all subscribers. Uh, thanks for listening to this video if you did. I know it's not always fun listening to people with health problems. But um, man, I've met some nice people on YouTube. And I love y'all. And uh, I just hope I... The Lord will give me five or ten more years to work with this. And winter's coming, camping trips are coming, and fishing trips are coming. I even found some places to fish uh, near my house. I couldn't believe it. So I'll be doing some of that pretty soon. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks again. Just eat it, saying subscribe, like, ring that bell, and. Uh, Enjoy every day. It's a gift. God bless.